Hello Ross developers, welcome to the Ross in 5 minute video series by The Construct, your channel for everything Ross. And by the idea of in this video, we will be looking at how to create a Ross service server. But before anything else, remember to visit the Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you find practical online Ross courses using simulator robots, no installation required. You will find a link to this academy in the video description. I'm specially inviting you to register for our Ross Summer Online course, which is a great opportunity for you to master Ross skills quickly from home this summer. And at the end, you get a certificate to show for it. We have limited space available, so I encourage you to reserve your seat now by clicking on this link. So back to our topic for today, we said we wanted to see how to create a Ross service server. And for this, we are using the Robot Ignite Academy again. And I have my environment open here and I have a program, our service already written. I will come back to it later. For now, we want to see it in action. So we come to our shell here. In the first shell, So here is our service, sosservice.py. We run it. Then in another terminal, we call the service. Or before that, let's see if our service is in the raw service list. So we have a service here called fake911, and that's our service. Now we are going to call it. So that's raw service. Call fake now eleven tab tab. So we don't need to supply anything, just an empty message. Hey, great! We have called our service now, and then we've gotten a response. So we've called the nine eleven service, a fake one now. And then we have a response so quickly now let's go and look at um, the program and see how it was able to work like that so first thing we did was to import rospy this is basic and then because we are using ross python and then from from standard service messages we are importing trigger and trigger response our service is a trigger service and then it returns a trigger response and now we, we initialize a node as usual and then we define our service here which is fake 911. Uh, this is disclaimer, don't try to call this service in any emergency. <laughs> so which is a trigger service as we said and then it's going to respond through this callback we defined here. So we have a callback defined and it simply return the trigger response we just saw which tells the call succeeded and then gives us a message. Great. So now let's over let's look at some theory behind this. Just a recap. I know that in, in the previous video um, we talked about what is a raw service. So I believe you already know that. If you have not watched the video, you'll find the link in the description so you can watch it. So we said raw service server. Then why server? Yes, it's a server, more or less like a web server. Because the server accepts a request and returns a response, like just like your web browser accepts request when you visit a page, for example, and then returns a response, which is the page you see. So in the same way, ROS service client, clients make requests to a ROS service server, which you can just call a ROS service for short, and then the ROS service returns a response. So done. That's what we just did here. Now. We didn't use the client, so to speak. Our client was just um, the command line here. So that's how to create a raw service. So that's all for this video. I will see you in the next video. So did you like the video? If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. And don't forget to share your thoughts with us in the comments area. Peace out. Odabo.